I should say. To do this, we're going to jump it right into it and uh, start over here on the Pages tab. Here in the Pages tab, really cut and dry, you have Pages. Now, this is where it gets a little more interesting. Let's say you want to have another page, right? Let's start with simple. Go here to the bottom and you select what you want. You can have a new page, a new link, a new full page embed, or a new menu section. Let's kind of play with each one. Let's start with creating a new page. I'm going to create a page called About. And now if you look at the navigation bar I was talking to you about earlier, you'll see now there's Home and there's About. And to just real quick touch on this because I wanted to come back to this if you put it on the side, you can also have a drop down here and have Home and About. And depending on which one you select, it will go back and forth. Again, your preference for today's thing, I'm going to show it with tops, so that way it's always showing, but you can adjust this how you want it. So now I just have a page, but let's say I'm like, instead I want to go to, I want to send people to another site. In this case, I'll use my website. So we're going to create a new page, or oops, we're going to click on, <laughs> I always forget, you can just hover. We can click a new link and call this link, um, We'll call this link my website, but we're going to have it go to ZachariCollins.com and we'll call it my website. And then from here, now there's this button here on the website called my website. And if we click on it, it takes us to where we want to go. I'm going to go ahead. If you need to delete a page, let's cover this and start here. You can just go here and hit delete. Now we have home, we have about. We have my website. So we have our home page, a new page, and a link. But you'll see there's a couple more options. What about a full page in bed? Let's say I want to have a page called my website here. We're going to hit done. And then it's going to ask me, what do you want to embed? So I want to embed a file or a web, an image or things like that. You can just hit uh, add embed. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just have a little fun and again, just embed my site, my actual website. And we're going to go here. And I'm going to tell it I want the whole page. So now if I go to home, I have my home page for on this website. Go to about, I'd have whatever I put here. But if I click my website here, it now loads my actual website. And then from there, I can actually, once it's published, navigate that or I can go out to it. So that's a really awesome option available to you. And then on the last part is a menu section, a new menu section. This is for when you want to create a drop down. So let's call it my drop down or drop down, not box, drop down. And from here, let's say I want to put um, the my website link under my drop down. So what I can do is I can grab this guy here and I can hover it over my drop down and now it makes it a sub item of my drop down if I come over here now you can see it's a subs it's a subs it's a sub page of my drop down now my drop down I can't click on there's nothing to click on it's just a sub menu a new menu section but I can click on the my website and it will redirect me now you don't have to do this with just um, new menu sections you can actually just do it with anything you can make any kind of drop down. The difference is, is that the new menu section is just a not a clickable option. So people can't click on it. It's purely just to give that drop down feel. And you can have more than one drop down. You don't have to have um, only one layer of drop downs. You could have um, another drop down and put it in and include it. You could have you can do this with pages or drop downs. You can have another drop down inside the drop down and inside that drop down, the sub drop down, drop something else. And very quickly, you're building out layers into your site. So you have options available to you either way. There's definitely a lot of customization you can do here to really give your site the flow you want it to have for people that are visiting your site. Now I want to talk a little bit about your page options. So we've done this part, but let's look at page options. So I've made a page, what can I do with it? So if you click this here, you've got a few options. You can make it your home page. If you decide you have a different page, you want to be the page that people land on. That's your home page's job is to be the first page people see. You can duplicate a page if you have like, if you are creating a page and like, well, I need something just like it, but a little different for whatever reason, you can duplicate one. You can adjust the properties on it where you can give it a, uh, 
custom path. So if you want it to have a certain URL name, maybe different from whatever it is standard there, you can define a custom path. So here I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as about to force it to be about. Um, you have the option of adding a sub page. So let's say you're like, okay, well, I want home to have a new sub page. I can click here, add sub page. I'm gonna call it home sub page. And from here, now it's created me a new sub page. You can hide from navigation. So let's say you have a site, let's say you have a page you're working on. You can hide it from navigation, or if there's something wrong with you, you can hide it from navigation, work on it, and then show in navigation when you're ready to use it again. And of course you always have delete. So if you have a page you're like, well, I don't need you anymore, you can click delete. And that's it guys, right there, you have now got uh, the ability to edit, manage all your pages for your site. So you're ready to move forward with that next piece. So let's go ahead and um, jump into the next piece. Oh, before I forget, one thing I want to show you is if you have something that is a sub menu or a sub of sub page or a sub menu to take it out of that and put it back to being one of the top level ones, you simply drag it until you see this bar, let go and then get it to do it here. I got to drag it out farther right here and now it is now a top menu item so if you hover over see how it's a square or a rectangle um, that will make it a sub item if you see the bar that will make it a top level item and then you can adjust even where it is in the site listing so good little feast good little piece of this that I wanted to make sure I featured there so let's go ahead and jump into our next video getting into Google Sites theme customization <laughs>